Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about Clifton Strengths and my journey with Clifton Strengths uh, as a tool that helped me grow personally and professionally in hopes that you might consider using this tool yourself. So growing up, I was pretty nerdy as a kid. Uh, I did really well in school, and I was always that like nerdy kid. When I was in 11th grade, I had, I was, I believe it was three AP classes and two honors classes, and then I think it was an art class, some elective class. So I had six classes at the time, but really busy schedule. Uh, I ended up creating a calendar system that I would plan a week ahead of time the entire week, every up to every five minutes of every day. Flash forward a little bit, you know, a few years later, post college, I'm inside of the classroom and um, we're having like uh, teacher planning meetings about the upcoming school year. And someone would suggest an idea, and then pretty instantly the decision was made that we were going to do the idea. And I would get very overwhelmed. I would feel really like, uh, maybe anxious is the word, but very overwhelmed. Like, oh my goodness, we haven't thought through like step one and step two. Uh, and then if we do step two, then that's going to lead us down here. But if we do step two like this, then we're going to go down here. And again, all of these things I noticed about myself and I was like, oh, these are just impediments to my success. I was frustrated when I was with others. Uh, I had to think through my plan more. I had to think about the strategic plan because others didn't. They just acted and did it. That wasn't everyone, of course, but a good amount of people just said, I have an idea, let's run with it, and they would move on. So I have a mentor that I am so grateful for, and at one point he had just finished taking his own Clifton Strengths, and he said, why don't you take the Clifton Strengths? It might be something you would find interesting. So I jumped on it and I immediately took the Clifton Strengths. So I went in on a deep dive of strengths. Uh, I spent a lot of time on a daily basis looking into what my personal strengths were. And I would say that my journey with it in terms of my usage and growth with the Clifton Strengths is kind of twofold. So with respect to the first part of my journey where I was learning about my own voice and my set of tools, I realized that those unique things that made me me, that I was annoyed with, were just part of my tool set. So the first one was the fact that uh, I mentioned in 11th grade, I planned out my day within like a five minute interval. And so that tool that I used was called discipline. Um, and it's an ability to bring order to chaos and bring structure to an unstructured environment in order to produce, you know, high quality output. And then I started realizing, wow, this tool is pretty amazing if I use it correctly. At the same time, I started learning that some of these tools, uh, not were not that they were bad, but they weren't always needed. So I can put another tool down and then pick another one up. I didn't always have to order everything. I started to embrace and saying, this is a good thing. Uh, I may not need it at every time, but it is not a hindrance to my success. It's part of my success. So when I was in group meetings, I started speaking up and saying, hey everyone, I have a question. Can someone connect for me the why about this? Why is this important? Why does this matter? Or I would say, before we move on, everyone, I, I'm not trying to be a negative stickler here, uh, but I would like to know step one, two, and three. And if we get to step three, should we do this part or this part? I started to embrace my tools and also um, let my tools, me in that sense, right? But have an impact on others. Phase two of my journey is where I went on the deep end of strengths. I ended up taking a week-long coaching intensive course to help me to coach others in Clifton strengths um, and to do like uh, individual and group wide coaching for Clifton strengths. I started to realize that my tools were very valuable as an individual. But when I could put them together with other people's tools, when I was with, let's say, a certain individual, if I can tap into that tool for me and also maybe lean, have them pull out their tool, we could do so much more than if we were only doing our own individual tools. Um, or if I was constantly trying to plan and that person was already a planner, 
then I needed to just say, well, you can take the rain or I can take the rain. I began seeing how we can use our tools to build something together. And that totally transformed the way I interacted with others and the way I talked to others. As a leader, um, coaching my team, it literally helped me unlock their voice and to say, I would love for you to bring that out more. We want to see more of that. Um, or in that situation, um, it seems like maybe pulling that strength back a little and pushing that one would have helped you more and helped our team more. I was giving them abilities to think through what their unique tool set could be like. My major realizations after taking the strengths assessment is that if I got to know my tools, when it was best to use them and even sometimes put them down and do that with others, depending on the situation or the person I was with, I could bring out the best in myself and in others. And that's my hope for you, is that you would kind of hear my story and say, wow, I might be able to find more enjoyment and fulfillment as an individual, but also as a team member, I'm at work, at home, by using the unique tool set that I have. I encourage you to take the assessment, invest in yourself, get to know yourself through this tool. Um, and if you do, list the top five strengths in the comments below. Alrighty. Thank you guys. I'll see you soon.